Hi there, it's Tracy here, and today I'm going to share some tips I like to use when stenciling with several images from the same or multiple stencils. I'm using the Studio Katia Birthday Balloon Duo Stencil, which is a two-piece set that I marked with a Sharpie so I can easily identify my stencils, especially when I'm blending my ink. I'm using images from both of the stencils for my card, but rather than freestyle with the ink and hope for the best, I do a bit of planning ahead of time to save me from multiple attempts to get it right. Using a piece of paper and a pencil, I trace the shapes of the balloons that I'm using and then mark the number of the stencil right on the balloons so I know which one to grab when I'm inking. This gives me a chance to see how the shapes are working together and make any changes that I need before I start ink blending. Right on the panel, I plan out the rest of my cards starting by hand drawing the balloon strings and preparing my sentiment. It is a white embossed sentiment from the It's Your Birthday stamp set and I'll add that to my completed card. Once my planning was done, I set it aside to use as a reference and I began to tape down my stencil. I started off with pink post-it tape, but wouldn't you know it, I pulled off one piece and the roll was done. I'm getting low on post-it tape and it was on my list before all the stores were shut down so now obviously I won't be getting any more until they open back up again. Looking at my reference sheet I was able to decide what colors I wanted to overlap with each other and I started by ink blending on the right side with Twisted Citron Distress Oxide ink and before I started the ink blending I made sure that I covered any openings on the stencil with post-it notes. This is speaking from personal experience. I've had many stenciling projects ruined when I've accidentally contaminated my project by not covering an open area and accidentally getting ink where I didn't want it. Once I was happy with the color, I removed all my tape and the stencil, grabbed the other stencil, taped it down, covered the open areas, and I blended the next color, which was squeezed lemonade. Once again, once I was happy with that, I removed all the tape, repositioned the stencil for the next balloon, covered all the open areas that were close by, and blended it with spice marmalade. One balloon left to go. It was from the other stencil, so I did the same procedure all over again. I positioned the stencil, I taped it down, and then I covered all the open areas before I blended the Candied Apple Distress Oxide ink. When I removed the tape and stencil, I realized that the Candied Apple really changed the overall feel of the card. The balloons totally pop now. I used two small paintbrushes that I dipped into clean water and tapped them together to add water droplets to the balloons and then used paper towel to pick up some of the color. At this point, the panel was set aside to dry. Once it was dry, I used a black pen to draw strings onto the balloons, and of course, the strings I drew with pencil on the reference sheet look better in my opinion. I added the sentiment to the card front and adhered it to a white top folding card base. To finish the card off, Carmen Red and Peridot crystals were added for a little bit of sparkle. Thanks so much for creating with me today, and I hope that you and your family stay safe during this difficult time. Sending you sunshine, and have a great day.